Oh, right in. Dark and ran. Back at it. Hello. Last time we uh, stopped Mo stopped Samara from doing stupid, stupid uh, suicide. What is it with people and just trying to kill themselves, eh? What's it, what is it with really good characters refusing to help us directly and just becoming a number? Uh, l l listen, listen, listen. Don't worry about it. And instead of going straight to the Citadel, let's take a visit by Fifth Fleet. Oh my. What can we get here? Cool stuff, cool stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Frictionless rail. Increases damage by 15%. Every round has a 25% chance of not using up the thermal clip. Damn! I don't even... It's, uh... Oh, it's oh, oh. A Salarian technique somehow acquired by the Andromeda Initiative. Well, I'll take it. I mean, it's free. Listen, I see this as an absolute win. Is that like a permanent upgrade or a... I have no like idea, but we're going to find out. Modification. Now, let's see. Oh. The Trident looks like it comes straight out of Star Wars. What, this? Yeah, like the, the pod racing thing. <laughs> now um, this is pod racing. <laughs> Give me the mech. Probably still a Triton. Yeah. Let's take a gun. Hey, the Mako. Hey, the drunk rhino. Yeah. If only we ever actually got to use it. Let me... I mean, maybe we will. It would be cool. Yeah, it would. It must definitely be cool. Whipping up assault rifle Whipping. frictionless rail. So it's just for assault okay. rifles. So it's probably like a, an add on, like the ones you. Yeah, like probably. For modifying guns. Yeah. M35. Not like it will gun. really matter since you don't use assault rifles. I mean, yeah, I do. That single shot oh, rifle wait. I'm using is an assault rifle. Oh, right. Uh-huh. So much DLC stuff. I might be getting my games confused. What game do I not use an assault rifle in? You're cleared to dock, uh, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Besides XCOM. Was it, was it the previous game in which we, we had a lot of... Uh, type of gun that you wanted to use for Kudon or something? Mm, I don't think so. Mm. And you're using shotguns here, so it's not that either. Oh well. Oh, yeah. Shepard, if you're feeling up to Look, I play a lot of games. We do. We do. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. Then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Hmm, scary. <clears throat> where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some oh things my. never change, do they? <laughs> never have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard. Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSAC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. 
might be the last chance. Especially if I cover the overhang. Yeah. A little busier than I imagined. Well, the over the overhang. You obviously haven't seen Turing and swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one that was reserved. Going to set once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seem depressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> You're going dead. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. We're winning this one. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Yup. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time you'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean. This area is off limits. You're trespassing in an official citadel zone. So, do we give a damn about regulations now? Hell no. How about a high speed chase before we die? Time to go. I don't know where to run into. Well, really, to save his ass when he says they're drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a dive in the pool. Yep. I don't think that was in the original version of the scene. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Alright, time to go talk to the chick with the perfect ass. <laughs> and that's what everyone knows her for. I I didn't know that he was here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. I don't even remember if we can see it well with her suit. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. 
Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. The irony I find about... <laughs> see? See? Ass. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, the irony I find about that is if you... I don't know if you remember. Uh, if you read through the Shadow Broker files in the previous game, uh, one of the ones that Miranda mentions that uh, she w uh, she basically saw like a, a gynecologist and confirmed that she's actually sterile. She can't have children. That's amusing. Yeah, it's like her father tweaked a little too much to make her perfect. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. Of course would. not. That makes it boring. Yeah, you just go right in one's place and kill everyone. Exactly. That's what you normally do. <clears throat> Location for Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him anywhere in a public location at this time. The last known position was an office suite near the embassy. Don't know what it's related to right now. Transfer authorization for Private Talavi. Private Talavi is requested to transfer to a unit actively engaging against Reaper hostiles. A note from Sergeant Olumbe says that Private Talavi is an exceptional engineer, recommending her for duty on a team set to sabotage Reaper processing centers. Spectre authorization would fast track this request. That oh. is, uh, Private Talavi is the engineer who we'd walk by every now and then talking about her brother apparently going into Cerberus. Ah. Granted, the place that we went, one of the first side quests, you find logs from a so, such and such Talavi. So, uh, he's clearly long dead. Yeah. Do we transfer her over or leave her in her current unit? Yeah, let's transfer her, I guess. Okay. Nessius Ash's background. Justice for Bahak activists. An unwelcome side effect for the Batarian refugee situation has been the arrival of activist groups decrying how the galaxy is xenophobic towards them. One group, Justice for Bahak, has demanded that you should be brought to trial for committing genocide in the Bahak system and for your frequent racist actions against the Batarian people. Unsurprisingly, the activists are courting media attention, and though they are unlikely to achieve their aims, their activities are a risk to our fragile galactic unity. Spectre authorization would enable a smear campaign using false information, which would discredit their leadership and turn the refugees against them. Okay. Correct. Hacking diplomatic schedules. A coalition of independent colonies, lesser races, and minor powers has formed in the wake of the Citadel coup. These factions had once been content to let the Citadel races win the war alone, but now they fear their complacency will lead to their ruin. They wish to offer military and economic support, but their attempts to pledge these have been sidelined by council that's in disarray and focusing inward. With your authority, diplomatic VIs could be hacked to force negotiations to take place. Though a breach of Citadel law, this move could potentially save billions of lives. Let's fucking cancel our always thing. I mean, isn't the so point of the Spectres to operate outside the law? That too. <coughs> Therefore, we'll do it. Yep. Biological attack on Parthia. With the Turian hierarchy's reluctance to send us intimate details of their operations and the calm buoy blackout, we have struggled to learn what happened in our, in our colonies. However, our VIs have pieced together evidence via refugee interview, surveillance drones, and hacking of an atrocity committed on the colony of Parthia. <coughs> our intel prints a gruesome picture. General Timaeus Arleus was transferred to Parthia to command the colonial militia in their guerrilla war against the Reapers. 
After weeks of losing ground and witnessing whole military divisions betraying him, he ordered the use of bio-warfare agents on indoctrinated command centers. This rash action had some success across the southern hemisphere. Traitor divisions were slaughtered and the risk of indoctrinated infiltration was severely reduced. Victory quickly turned to defeat when the jet stream carried the bioweapon across the continent, killing hundreds of thousands of allied colonists. Our evidence suggests that General Orleos did not factor in the weather conditions of Parthia before ordering the attack. If our intel is correct, then General Orleos is guilty of breaching Tier 2 of the Citadel Convention's agreement. Post-war, there will be an inquiry, but for now Parthia will be under strict biological quarantine, and it is likely the colony will soon capitulate to the enemy. Hmm. I get the feeling Turians aren't exactly well-versed in biological warfare. You think... Black market in the, the refugee Turians, fleet. Turians. Which ones were the Turians again? Garrus. Oh. Yeah, they should get some help from the... From what? humans. Uh, we're good at it. We're good at... No, I was referring to the... Uh, uh, they want to make the genophage. The Salarians? Yeah, They have that. their own problems. And let's see, this is That's going... That's a word for it. This is going on about a black market and a refugee fleet, which is a problem, but we can't do anything about. Yeah, we should probably not waste too much time with all of that. This series is gonna be long enough as it is. Yeah, and we still haven't decided if we're gonna uh, go through Andromeda after this. Good question. I don't know. Should I flip a coin? No. I don't <laughs> trust your coins. Alright, Javik. Let's have a chat. I mean, it would definitely be easier than actually trying to decide. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shard. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds, the galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace, most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> like, uh, could you not? But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human. Who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. 
I will see you back on the Normandy. Don't try to act like your kind probably didn't live in no caves. I don't think they knew a faction old enough to for them to know what they where they grew up from. I mean humans know humans lived in caves. Yeah, fair enough. We have evidence of it. But he's also the last living True, he didn't he, he didn't have there actually, weren't many there wasn't Records exactly of time pair for... origins weren't exactly big of a priority when they were already in the middle of a war when he was born. Yeah, it's like, it's like to be fair. Like, yeah, probably the protein race knew. He himself uh, probably had other priorities. You know, I can only imagine how much it sucks when these birds fly around. They've got a shit everywhere. Yep. So is it my idea or is the game kind of placating? Yes. Okay. Maybe we should say. This is gonna be unfortunate. Of course. P O Yep. I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Big oof. Yeah. And yes, the game is a little stuttery in this area because of everything that's here. Yeah, that's definitely very weird. Uh, no, not really. My frame rate is dying horribly. Yeah. Maybe having Rimworld in the background was not the best idea. Oh, Rimworld has nothing to do with it. It reminds me of where you I sure? Up. Yes. Where's that? Amali, that Contessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Leon. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. You know, she's only the galaxy's most powerful information broker. It's like, I do not see her dropping that. She I'm... fit that role like a glove. Yeah. Serious. Oh, I know exactly what that is. Okay. That's a fucking ad for Blasto, the Hanar Spectre. Oh. <laughs> it's so stupid looking. So st <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so damn retarded. Yeah, I mean, I guess even Mass, I guess even the world of Mass Effect has a sense of parody for things. Yeah, that's literally one of the multiplayer uh, ads. 
<laughs> See, there's the armor I'm wearing. Well, well, that you would be wearing if you were in combat. Yeah, each one of those is a class. You think I would? You think I would play that one on the end there? Cause shield. Yes, but I told you to wear the other one. <laughs> to play the other one. Yeah, to be fair, you can't use that class in campaign. N7 mm. Paladin. <clears throat> oh, what? Well. Nothing to see here. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Well, fish. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Eh. I don't know. Sounds useful. Don't know if I'm using that, but it's definitely useful. I've already given you your book. Why do you why are you interactable? Oh. Have you tried talking to him again? Sure, why not? No, most of the time in multiplayer I played a uh ex Cerberus uh biotic. The the dragoons that you that we fight every now and then that have the whips. I, play, oh, yeah. I basically those. played one of those. In it does look rather cool. It's fun. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. Yep. I already did this thing. Yeah, so it was, he just don't see you again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was good times playing Mass Effect multiplayer on three sixty. Charge like across the map, smash into something. S uh, swing that whip around. Ah, Samara's in the embassy now. I guess let's go back there. I had a few other classes I played, like Krogan Battlemaster. <laughs> that was a riot. Its its heavy melee was literally headbutt. Fun. Samara, what the fuck are you wearing? A suit. Obviously. Clearly. I'm, I'm always caught off guard by the mod changing a character's outfit. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing? Well, the it's good, sir. Real funny. I suppose I came to say goodbye. That one wasn't even Calaris on purpose. <laughs> and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. I mean, hopefully it won't be. <laughs> yeah. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Fair enough. Will Flair be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy, but if there is a way to survive, Valer will find it. It was good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Valer saw things so clearly, and it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. 
Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. <laughs> small. Uh, you know, it's only a giant machine a couple kilometers tall. Yes, but it's still a place. You yourself killed a reaper on the citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. To be well, I will say that was really... Uh, like, to be fair, the Citadel, we kind of had a fleet helping, and Tachanka, I'd say... Uh, the worm killed it. The worm did not love it. Stellaris reference right there. Like, Nobody else will get it. Yeah. I mean, like, Good luck out that's like throwing King Kong at Godzilla and then saying we killed Godzilla. I don't know if you believe in <laughs> such things. But goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. That's even assuming King Kong would win. Yeah, I was about to say, you're assuming King Kong wins. Oh, at least with the, with the Motron. No, Mecha Godzilla crashes the party. How does a series manage to be so terrifying and yet at the same time so fucking silly? What? How does a series about giant monsters manage to be simultaneously so terrifying and so fucking silly? I'm not sure what you're referencing, so I don't know. Make a good see that. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Mm -hmm. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Was That's going the last with you. Big party, remember? <coughs> and Lynn had a new dress. And she, she was so pretty. I always felt like an elephant next to her. It was a beautiful sunny day, but we were fighting about stupid stuff, being kids. Remember when Mom came up and hugged us all? A big, fierce hug. She said, This is one of the good days. Something you'll remember. She was right. I love you guys. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Thanks for listening. Okay. Hmm. I'd just like to take a moment to, to remind and point out. Abby was grumbling in the this first game. Party, remember? Ash makes a comment. If you want her in thigh high boots and a miniskirt, you gotta so take her out to dinner first. Well, I guess she got that dinner. It was a beautiful sunny day, but when did she get that dinner anyway? Stupid stuff. Uh, kids. not sure. I guess what we would have said was no, because she was still wearing her her um 
uh, fucking Phoenix armor in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, but she got the dinner while we were at Severus. And then after that, she changed to. Maybe, uh, I guess, maybe. Now, who gave. Now, who took her to dinner? No clue. Beats me. Did I miss any? I mean, James is chilling over there, but he's, that's not as important. Tactus. Oof. Tactus. Who the fuck is Tactus? Oof, yeah, like, what? And is he important? Don't fucking run. Probably not. Well, better to check in. Better to check in. Yeah. Not to mention it stops Ash's babbling. I've heard it so many times. Yeah. It just being on a loop is kind of immersion breaking. James? Sup, James. Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail? Right? Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Yeah, I can only imagine how much it would hurt to, th to, sl to slap that back plate on. You are important. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. Well, this is enough about how tough the fight is. When a battalion is giving a tattoo to a human and not trying to stab him in the back. <coughs> I mean, some guys are just in it for business. CSEC is tight yeah. access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Man, if only the council was that easy to convince. Well, the council is busy living in a bubble. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk past that conversation because it's depressing. Oof. Uh, I'm, we've never stopped to listen to it, but the summary of it is that that teenager is just gonna is just standing there, waiting for her parents. Uh, they made sure she got on a shuttle out first. So as you can guess, oh. she's gonna be waiting a while. The the guard figures it out real quick. Yeah. Uh, he says something to the uh, effect of, well, I w well, and I'll wait with you. Poor girl. Yeah. Well, at least she's got a sympathetic guard to possibly adopt her. She's going to need someone. <laughs> cool. You know, assuming they survive. Yeah. New article on Bahak. 
Advocates have withdrawn from the activist group Justice for Bahak after a scandalous expose revealed that they had heavily invested in the slaving rings on Logistry. Found in the Batala system, it is a world that is infamous for having the most horrifying slave conditions in the galaxy. The report who, reporter who broke the story was Kalish, uh, Kalish Al Jalani from Westerland News, a woman who, until recently, was only famous for her interviews with Commander Shepard and her antagonistic attitude to all interviewees. Following the expose, CSEC has taken justice for Bahak into custody for violating numerous sapient right issues. In a surprising term, there have been a noticeable upswing of Batarian volunteers for the war. Many new recruits are citing a need to prove themselves worthy of Citadel protection after their, their leaders have repeatedly soured their relations with the rest of the galaxy. So at least some Batarians have common sense. Yeah, some are realizing it's not going to change unless we change it. Let's see, third fleet. And I will say, at least that bitch is finally doing something good, but then I remember we're the ones who I thought I started smear campaign, aren't we? <laughs> yep. Third fleet update. Human forces fighting servers took losses due to, in part, to a shortage of engineers in Alliance Third Fleet. Not every decision in the Spectre Terminal is the right decision. Wait, what happened? Uh, when we authorized the transfer of that engineer, oh. a shortage of engineers caused casualties. Oh. Not every decision we can make is the right one to make. Yeah. Hopefully at least she improves things where she went. Or she just got herself killed, who knows. Yeah. That's the thing you gotta remember in war. It doesn't really have time for sympathy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta make a hard decision. Anyway. Sometimes that is not right decision. Correct. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijol delivery systems. Ooh. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glenn. Interesting. Nice. Let's take a look. See. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Okay. Let's see. Galea's electronic signature. As if that's even a question. <laughs> we might be low on cash. As it, as if that's a even a question. Cars? What cars? Seriously, I'm Paragon. What do we have here? CSEC recruitment notice. We've lost people due to recent events. Some resigned because of the attack on the Citadel, and some quit to go find their families or loved ones. While well, we can only wish them the best, we nonetheless find ourselves in a precarious position, as retaining experienced personnel is now an issue. Recruitment efforts have been given due attention, but should you know of any potential candidates, please refer them to the head of recruitment as quickly as possible. We'll do. CSEC is not exactly... If they came, let's us. Yeah, let's see. CSEC is not exactly having a good day. Yeah. Enjoy your day. I do wonder how the reporter will feel when, if she ever found out that her only main success was because we used her, basically. I mean, she's supposed to show up at some point, and you can try to punch her. Hilarious, yeah. hilariously, in the first, in the fir in the first two games, if you try punching her, you punch her. In the third game, if you try to punch her, she lays you out. I guess that's regardless of whether you did on the previous ones or not. Something like that, yeah. Mech Bay 2. Get another alliance. Oh, we have two alliance tritons. Yes! That's I can't put anything else there.
Now let's see. Which secondary vehicle do we want? Gunship? Or the gunship? Or, or, or the IF Mako? Fuck, I'm bad. Difficult question. Uh, let's be honest, you're a better pilot than you're a driver. <laughs> you're not wrong. And if some of them was have in fact changed it to the point where you can actually pilot those, then... Listen, I am a menace in disguise. How are we doing on time, by the way? Uh, I was just getting that. So next up, I think we have to go deal with some Cerberus defectors. But that Fun. is a problem we can take care of next time. Next time. Bye-bye. Laters.